Hey everybody. So let's talk about St. Sebastian for a moment here. We just celebrated his feast day the other day. Another one of my favorites and another one in which we really don't know a whole lot about, which if you followed me for some time here, you know it's the saints we don't know much about that I really love talking about the most. Precisely because though we don't know a lot about them, we still remember them today, which tells you the massive impact they had on the early church. And Sebastian was no different. So what do we know about St. Sebastian? Well, one, we know he dedicated his life to those who were losing theirs. And two, in that process of fighting on behalf of Christians, he made himself quite an enemy, the Emperor Diocletian. Not the guy you wanted to mess with if you were a Christian. But, and this is important, Sebastian wasn't afraid of him, and Diocletian knew it. So Diocletian did what he was doing to all the other Christians he came in contact with. He ordered Sebastian to be put to death. He was shot several times by arrows, as is seen in most religious art featuring him. But when fellow Christians came to bury his body, he was actually found to still be alive. And this is where the story gets really interesting to me. Because instead of fleeing Rome to save his life like anyone else would do, Sebastian instead went back to find Diocletian. He camped out in a spot he knew the emperor would pass by that day, and he waited for him. And when Diocletian did pass by, Sebastian jumped out and just started heckling him, challenging him to change his ways for his cruelty towards Christians and turn his life over to God. Now, I'd like to tell you Diocletian had a change of heart right then, but he didn't. He was embarrassed that Sebastian was still alive, and because of that, he ordered him to be put to death again. The emperor decided to kill him a different way this time. He was clubbed to death in front of him. But we know where he is now. St. Sebastian still has so much to teach us today, friends. What's the main lessons? Number one, faith. Meaning there's nothing, nothing more important than our faith in Jesus Christ and his church. Number two, courage in face of adversity. And number three, I think this is the most important one, hope. Knowing that what we were really made for is heaven. And Sebastian knew that. It was what he was preparing for for his entire life. And we should as well. St. Sebastian, pray for us. And pray for me, friends, and know I'm praying for you. God bless you.